Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Nichi Joe, episode number 11. Okay, the previous episode. Um, the first thing that we had is Yuko trying to go to the classroom with a obvious strap on top of the door, the duster, and she tries multiple ways to get in. Unfortunately, she was unable to. And by the end of it, she decided to took, uh, like, you know, to go in through that door and, you know, uh, the duster would fall and she'll be like haha so funny guys uh, that type of a thing go along with the joke unfortunately the classroom was empty <laughs> okay um, then we had the uh, soulman master I think that was the guy I don't remember his name but you know like there's this lady who was in the park you know with us doing the whole Nagash soulman thing and the guy comes in and you know like uh, they both meet each other for the long after a long time. She was off trying to find the path of the soulman or something like that. And <laughs> while the girl who was involved in that was just looking at that whole situation, uh, she just wanted to have some soulman and she had to witness all of this. <laughs> and uh, then we get to the whole Hakase section where Hakase, like you know, like uh, Nano just told Hakase, Oh, you look like an elder sister with a ponytail. And Hakase was like, yeah, I'm, a, I'm an older sister now. And she tries to do everything, obviously failing very miserably. And Sakamoto was also annoyed. Sakamoto was like, what the hell are you doing? And then Sakamoto came up with a plan. He's like, you know what? If you're an older sister, you won't get any snacks. And she just took off her ponytail and she's like, yeah, just joking. I'm still Hakase. I'm not an older sister. <laughs> oh my God. And then the final section was Yuko thinking about like you know studying and everything and she doesn't want to study but at the same time all the different situations come into her mind which all results down to the fact that she will have to study and do her homework <laughs> and she like you know was doing such a ruckus on top her mom comes in and just slaps her again <laughs> and then she's like you know what maybe i'll study you know and yeah that was that was hilarious Right, so let us begin with this episode. This is episode number 11. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here. Thank you to whichever is a preference and let's get started. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Wait, starting with Helvetica standard? Whoa, that's a lot. Is that a sparrow and a mouse? Okay. They don't have the rent. <laughs> is, is he really sleeping? Oh. I wonder if there's actually a Helvetica standard manga out there. You know? I don't know. Maybe, maybe there exists. It won't surprise me if the same author, like, you know, made another manga called Helvetica standard and has decided to put this in this show. Okay. Hmm. 
He's eating a, she's eating a popsicle at night? I guess he can, but... <laughs> Yo, everyone's correct. Wait, she has a cat? She has a cold and she's eating popsicle? Me three day <laughs> Wait, what? Not a winner, obviously. <laughs> what? <laughs> Probably not, yeah. <laughs> well, um, all right. Will she study today, however? Probably not. It's time to go to sleep, I think. <laughs> what, what's happening here? Okay, she is studying, okay. 10 hours. Alright. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> I don't think she... Whoa, who's this? Damn. Whoa! What's happening here? <laughs> Wait, what? Ah, I'll gamble. Okay, yes. <laughs> She's again going in a different direction. Wow. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> oh no, she was just eating a popsicle. Will she get sick again today? Oh no, I think she's actually planning on doing that. Yo! Oh my god. <laughs> Iced water? What? Oh my. I can't even catch cold like that. I don't know. Probably. Oh. Okay, well. Let's see if it was successful or not. Probably not. She's probably just fine. Oh my god. Okay, something happened to my video. Alright. 
she just woke, got up from a like you know like sickness she'll be fine now i oh my god oh my god oh my god she put that oh <laughs> yeah mm. Eighty-eight. Okay. Yo, the cat has got a cold. What? Daiku power. <laughs> what? Yeah, no members. Only two of them. What the hell? Who who came in a helicopter? Wait, what is happening? <laughs> um, okay, well... <laughs> no string. Oh, this guy is a vice principal, isn't he? Oh, that's wife's reunion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's sad. Oh, my God. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Yeah, the traffic light is working fine now. At night, what was it doing? Like, going crazy. What? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, this guy. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, better than nothing, I guess. Oh, it's standing up. Good luck, isn't it? The tea stop? Oh, someone came to visit him. That's good. The daughter? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ah, yeah, um, he, uh, um, <laughs> please don't eat it. Oh no, I feel like this is going to. I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> um, for your grandson? Oh no. <laughs> That's a profound. Wow. Happiness tastes, tastes like mud. Oh my god. 
Okay, what's well, short thoughts, all right? Oh! Ooh. Um. Ah! Wow! God, this was... <laughs> oh my god. Eh, Saka, Sakamoto just having a nice nap. <laughs> oh no, what did she finish now? Super, oh my god, please. Yeah. Oh, okay. What she? Oh no! Sakamoto. <laughs> Busy cat. Oh. Wow. <laughs> um <laughs> What about water now? Yeah. You won't get your snacks. And she can't even go and fetch water. Oh. Hmm. This is trouble. Wait, what? Is, is he inside? Oh my god. How did that happen? How did that happen? He... Oh, maybe she can, he can sweat. And it'll come out. Or maybe not. Do cats even sweat? And from the nose, I think, yeah. Nose and the tongue, maybe? <laughs> oh boy. Well, Nano, hopefully Nano doesn't get stuck in this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, don't, don't fall for the trap. Yeah, bring water. Yeah, you liar. <laughs> We're not listening to her. What have what? Wait, <laughs> and popped off. <laughs> She's laughing. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. They can, you know, like if maybe she has like water or something in the bag she had. Wait, did he? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, probably. I uh, you had a daiku. Oh my god, Mixer. Little Miracle. Okay. What? Oh, Rainbow. That's nice. Okay. Next, Sakamoto. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god. What's she going to do now? Oh, what? <laughs> Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, now it's time for Sakamoto. Sakamoto medicine. Oh. Wow. Wait, so the same place where she he came from the sakamoto where he was at the beginning in, in the cage or whatever you say, call it is that why she he calls himself sakamoto because he's from probably oh the final exam <laughs> it's the best word that describes the picture <laughs> Oh really? <laughs> That's what you said. Yeah. <laughs> Fly? Is it even flying? <laughs> I may be monster. Logic. <laughs> ah! Yeah. <laughs> Did she not bring a razor? <laughs> Ask for someone. Oh, I think it'll be something different. It won't be an eraser. What would it be? Sand <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes she was oh my god what was she doing up until now <laughs> get ready for your mom's beating you know <laughs> except the fact that you will fail <laughs> oh my god! Uh, what? Um. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Yo. Oh my god. ETA. I'm. Um, it's not raining, but I guess it is raining in her heart. Yeah, like I said, in her heart. <laughs> I, I wonder if the next episode will be <laughs> her, her getting beat up by her mom. <laughs> That'll be funny. Oh.
All right. Let's see who it is today. Whose voice? Oh wait, there's still something left. Open. Oh, the principal. Um. Tanaka. Oh no, it's. <laughs> it, is it the vice principal? It's him, isn't it? <laughs> it's Hakases. Shirai Shifuyumi. Wait, that sounded like Hakases' voice acting. Shirai, Shirai Shifuyumi. Let me check. Um, Shirai Shifuyumi. I, I don't know why, but that sounded like um, Hakases' voice. Maybe I'm wrong. L let me check. Okay, Shirai Shifuyumi. Mm, let's see. Okay, Ojo Man. Um, very. Not much. Space Dandy, Yoko. Okay, Nichijo. There you go, Ball of Mud. Not much. Few others as well. Quite a. F oh, she's been in voice acting for quite a long time. 1964. Alright. Oh, she's not alive anymore. Okay, that's sad. She actually yeah, died on March 26, 2019. Of, okay, ischemic heart failure. Oh, she's not alive anymore. That's sad. Okay, so she she's a very um, she's been voice acting for a long time from 1964. That's quite a long time ago. All right. Yeah, she's uh she's not alive anymore. Rest in peace. But, uh, at the age of 82, she died of ischemic heart failure at Setagaya home. Okay. All right. So this episode, <clears throat> we begin with um, Helvetica Standard. That's interesting. Like I said, like I wonder if there is actually a manga like you know, of Helvetica Standard. That'll be kind of funny. Mm. So we start with Helvetica Standard. the 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 uh, the landlady is mad at the sparrow, and the, I think that was a rat. Was that a rat or something else? I think that's a rat. And the sparrow was like, "Oh, take this." And I think there was like a little. What can I say? Like a little. She says something. The rat uh, sparrow says like it's a sparrow steer in the bucket. But I think that was like a. What do you call them? Like a word or something, some kind of a quote or some kind of a thing. A sparrow steer in the bucket. Probably something like that, you know. But either way, we start with that and then we move on to Yuko eating a popsicle. And she has been sick for three days and she has actually not gone to school. Now, I think this is the first time I've ever seen an anime where someone doesn't go to school for three days, you know, back to back. Now, like most of the animes that I've seen, like I've seen like in a, most of the anime schools, uh, I'm pro I think that's probably also happens in Japan, uh, you know, in Japanese school as well, that there's a very strictness on attendance. You cannot um, keep school for like one more than two days or something like that i don't know but there's like very much strictness in it most of the animals that i've seen like people actually freak out on act like you know like are not going to school for one day while this is the anime uh, the first anime that i'm seeing where there's someone who actually did not go to school for three days back to back uh it, it, it like you know like obviously she was sick like you know nothing you can do about it but i think this is the first anime i've seen where that something like this happens like um you know, in, 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 my, in my country, in our school, there's not that much um, strictness on attendance. Obviously, you need to keep an attendance. But, you know, like, not like, oh, like one day skipping school, that's crazy. Not something like that. We used to skip quite a lot. Like, obviously, when we were sick and stuff. 
uh but i do remember like we had to uh, like if you had to made like three days skip three days back to back and we had to like, kind of get a letter from our parents actually talking about the situation what happened and if more than that we actually had to get a doctor's prescription as to i was sick something happened this happened here you go something like that a written letter from the doctor and if some other reason then some other reason something else but it, it, it varied and if you did not if we were unable to provide that then the principal would call us like that is crazy <laughs> but <clears throat> here we can see yuko is like awake at night eating popsicle and i was like what the hell you got up from a cold you're eating a popsicle at night <laughs> but i guess anyways she is just there and the mom is talking about stuff she's like oh you should go to school tomorrow don't get sick you know you should study this and that your exams are here and then she suddenly realized that the exam is tomorrow and she's like why didn't you warn me before and the mom is like you were sick how could i say something like you know like how would i even say that like you know you're sick so nothing you can do about it i'm warning you now at least <laughs> I love that um, she was like, no, but you could have warned me. And she's like, well, if I warned you, would you actually study? And she's like, no, but still. <laughs> okay, so the mom, when she goes, she's like, this test must better be good. You know, like if, if you do bring some bad marks, then I'll kill you. This leaves. And Yuko's like, yeah, this is amazing. What should I do now? And she's like, all right, you know what? Let me study now 10 hours time plenty of time you know, i can do this you start studying and i the fact that you know it, it was music and english the next day and the fact that she was like all right let's study she starts with english and all the times like you know, the whole thing escalated into a poem that was hilarious i don't know why she was writing so many poems <laughs> what was the reason but <clears throat> you know um at least yeah I, I, I don't know what to say but obviously like at this point in time she cannot spend her time writing poems she needed to study english so um okay let's see the exam schedule the first day exam is english and music um the second day is um i, I don't there's not a translation here but oh no there you go uh, there is uh, the second day is health Health? What is health? Oh, I'm guessing um, like a health inspection. Is that is that is that part of a final exam? Oh, okay. Day three is crazy. Literature, math, science, history. Four exams in one single day. How is that possible? Oh, I know. I have no idea. But uh, anyways, you know, the first day was kind of okay. English and music. So he tries to do the english but unfortunately i think she most probably because she was putting on the headphone she was all, always writing a poem the whole thing escalated into a poem and she's like what should i do now and uh, <clears throat> then she decides to write the you know those things the little tack I, I don't know what those are called the little tag things which you have where you kind of write the english words and <clears throat> i've seen this <clears throat> in multiple animes they write the english words which are like you know which should be memorized and they take it to the school and while going to school they kind of kind of just you know like burn them and read the more words and try to <clears throat> remember what they mean and all that stuff so that thing she was trying to <clears throat> she was writing the things down and uh, <clears throat> she was going she was like yeah i'm, I'm i'll, I'll like, memorize the important words and again she just escalated into a poem and she's like you know what like i don't think i'll be able to do this so what should i do you know ah let's let's get sick tomorrow if i'm sick tomorrow as well you know like it'll be fine i won't have to go to school now <clears throat> okay one thing i'm trying to see here I noticed the cat was also following her throughout her whole um, expedition of getting trying to get like you know sick first she what she does is goes to the refrigerator brings some ice cubes throws them into the uh, bathtub and at night 
in the cold water she's there with the shower on probably cold shower on her head and uh, she's like all right like you know for more precaution let me bring some you know get some more <clears throat> things in so that i get easy like a you know, cold easier she then goes and eats shaved ice turns on the air conditioner and at like you know, at minimum temperature goes to sleep like i said the cat was accompanying her everywhere cat was also sleeping on her um you know when at night with the ref uh, with the air conditioner on <laughs> you gets up you go the next day she's fine now i think this has something to do with um the whole i think this is like an actual thing you know like if you get okay like you know, if you uh recover from a maybe a cold maybe some kind of sickness maybe you were ill and you've recovered getting sick again is quite difficult in the next few days probably because i don't know if it's i'm i'm, I'm correct or not but i think this is actually a thing because your antibodies in the body are active at that moment you know like you've already you, you've gotten you've recovered from a from a sickness if you try to get that same sickness again that the antibodies are already like you know active in your body they easily are able to you know like get they can keep you healthy at that moment so getting the same sickness just after one day i think it's kind of difficult i don't know if if this is actually a thing but i think i've heard something like this so which I, it also makes sense you know like otherwise like you know you you've already gotten recovered from a cold you know the antibodies are in your body they're fighting the germs the antigens or whatever you call them and if you try to get sick again with the same sickness obviously it won't work because the antibodies are active at that moment so that is the reason why even after so many things i guess she was not she did not get cold she was fine but the cat got cold <laughs> because the cat was along with her throughout the whole day and and in the morning she's like i'm perfectly healthy and she tries to do a last minute thing she tries to kind of <laughs> make the temperature high in the thermometer so that the mom sees that and mom is like oh you're sick but she kind of messes up but she uses the matchstick to put puts on the thermometer mom gets in and she quickly hurriedly puts that under her armpit and the thing is hot you know because she already put match like a you know, lighted match on it and she was like oh my god this is so painful <laughs> and then she sees this 88 degrees centigrade <laughs> oh my god the mom is like you broke the thermometer go to school and <laughs> yeah it all failed and and unfortunately the cat was sick uh, the cat was sneezing <clears throat> so yeah you know what this uh, whole section kind of this was funny about this section like i said it was probably because of that reason that she did not get sick is because she already recovered from the cold that's why the antibodies are active but you know what this reminded me of it reminded me of the fact that in most animes like the characters if they get like you know in in water or something like falls on uh, on the water i think this is, this is like a running gag in anime that uh, like most characters like you know little rain a little falls down in the water next day sick <laughs> this is like a whole running gag of anime and what's funny about this is after doing so many things you could still did not catch any cold after that <laughs> like i said it's probably the antibodies that saved her anyways um so okay then the next part we get to see um daiku um i think that's her uh, his yeah his last name and he's like He's like, um, oh, I forgot to like you know, the whole club thing. He was like, I, f I almost forgot to uh, put the the application, and uh, you know it would have been disbanded. And his friend was like, you'll already get disbanded if you don't get enough uh, stu students in your cl club. And he's like, yeah, it'll be fine. Don't worry. Gets in the helicopter, goes away, and the friend is like, what the hell? This must be the Daiku Industries power or whatever. <laughs> God, imagine bringing a helicopter to your school that's some next level stuff <clears throat> okay the next part we get to see the vice principal and oh my god this part was so funny she was he was just like you know talking about so many things and she he was just like so depressed about the stuff and at first she's he's like okay i, I want to put 
a straw doll in the principal's locker, shoe locker, but I won't be able to make it because I don't have a string. And uh, she, he's like, I don't have straw, I don't have money to buy any, I'm, I have got no wife around to ask money. Wow! <laughs> no wife to ask money from. His wife is on a trip. And uh, he's also like, I don't have any rice to eat. And uh, she, he sits down and he's like, I want some brandy, but my liver is messed up. I cannot eat a uh, drink. And then she's like, Hanshin lost the cheeseburger that I tried to get. Didn't have any cheese. Um, no one came to my chat party. My homepage is getting no more views. <laughs> All the negative stuff. And then he's like, when I went on the bus, everyone left the bus. Everyone got down. And that's kind of depressing, you know, like, it's, it's like imagine you get on the bus and everyone just leaves. <laughs> but at the same time, it's also kind of nice, isn't it? Like you get the whole bus for yourself. It's kind of, you know, kind of nice in its own way. And um, then she, he starts reminiscing about his school trip when <laughs> two minutes after he <laughs> switched off the light, he was like, hey guys, are you awake? Everyone is asleep. Uh, they were probably just very tired, you know, that's why in two minutes they went to sleep. And then he's like, lately I cannot sleep. You know, like, like everything he's thinking is kind of escalating into something else, which is even worse, which is crazy. Like, it's like a whole cycle. And then he's like, I've, I've been eating at night to get to uh, go to sleep quickly. But then I, I realized that I've gained weight now, you know, and... Um, yeah, like this whole, like, you know, this sleep is like, you know, very, uh, like, what can I say, like, you know, uh, like, not to, you know, like, uh, can I, I, what, what do you call that, you know, the, the whole, uh, I know, it's something different, sorry, I, I was thinking of something else, never mind. Okay, so yeah, yeah, talking about sleep, what I was trying to say, um, like, you know, the sleep thing is like, um, for me, at least all throughout my life, uh, thankfully, I had no problem in sleep. I've heard a few, uh, like, you know, of my friends and everyone say how they're not able to fall asleep quickly and everything, which is something that I never had any problems with, which I'm very thankful for because, yeah, like, not able to sleep at the correct time. It's, it's kind of it's kind of crazy it, it's very bad you, know, like you need to sleep for your good health and uh, like wh what i usually do is just like you know like I'm, i think everyone does that like kind of looks at their phone while just laying down and when you got to get, get sleepy you keep the phone down and like within one or two minutes you fall asleep not like you know it doesn't take much but yeah like you know like like i said it is very thankful and fortunate like that I don't have any problems sleeping because having problems sleeping is very bad you know like it's like sleep is like one of the most important things almost at on par with your diet and uh, you know other stuff your health so yeah sleep is important so thank god about that anyways and he he's just talking about like uh, all that and he's like, last month's birthday present was just a butter roll. <laughs> and there was like that one part where the tea stock was kind of... No, wait. Oh, I think I made a mistake. The tea stock, it comes up. Is it floating or is it sink? Sunk? Like, I think... Uh, there's a thing where they say like, when a tea stock kind of floats up, it's good luck. If it sinks, it's bad luck. I think it's something like that. So, I think the tea stock was floating up, wasn't it? Or was it sinking? I don't know. Anyways, so he's like, yeah, no. Like, you know, like, let me stop thinking about all of this. Let me get some happy thoughts in. And then his daughter comes. And the daughter is like, yeah, let me you know, cook something for you. And the, she, his grandson has also come. And his grandson was like, uh, grandfather, look what I made you. The mud ball. It's like, ah, this is something that I made. Eat it. And, uh, like, I've seen multiple times in multiple animals, this is like a common thing where children make these mud balls and they, like, act and pretend as if that was food. 
and they give it to their friends and they, they kind, of kind of pretend to eat it and they kind of they kind of play a little house with that and even like only gives them to the elders as well so it's kind of like a good what can i say like a, a nice thing you know like he he made something for his grandfather and gave it to him but the thing stops being nice when the child is too persistent you know which happens here at first the grandfather was like oh that's so cute that's so nice you're gonna look my grandson made something to me he's almost tearing up he's like oh among all the bad things that happen this is such a nice thing and like i said like it stops being nice and like you know happy when the child is too too much what can i say like you know serious about it the grandson is like eat it and the grandfather was like yeah like i thought this was supposed to be like a like a little pretend thing no the grandson is serious he's like eat it grandfather eat it hurry you know i made it for you you know eat it and the grandfather is like oh my god this i like i'm 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 in a troublesome situation if i don't eat it she'll he'll be sad and <laughs> i don't want to do that and the grandfather's like you know what yeah let's let's eat it and he says surely happiness must taste like mud he eats it and like collapses <laughs> and the grandson is like mom grandfather collapsed <laughs> god damn that was yeah all right the next part we get to see the, the small thoughts where they you know like the guy goes to a uh, restaurant to eat something and one of the chicken i think that's the chicken falls down and the person who takes up the hand has really nice nails all like you know well done nails and <laughs> the guy gets up and he's like oh calms down sits down starts eating she was probably going to complain because the, the thing fell but after seeing his nails he could not i think <laughs> that was some crazy nails you know ah okay the next part takamoto is just asleep outside is hot and he's like oh my god gets up and he goes inside and he's like what is hakase doing and hakase is just making a super glue and she, <laughs> she made an obvious trap and she's like haha this is for sakamoto and for um nano they're going to get trapped here and i'll have a big laugh and sakamoto's like who's going to even fall for that and he has already fallen into a trap <laughs> and haka says like i'm going to eat my snacks now don't worry if you put water in it it'll be fine it'll go away but now i'm going to have my snacks and she tries to go and bam she's also stuck no snacks as they say karma <laughs> Haka says like, oh my god, what's am I, what am I going to do? And Sakamoto's very smug. Sakamoto's like, ah, this is what happens, you know, like divine retribution, blah, blah, blah. And Nano, Saka, uh, Haka says just like, what's going to happen? We'll, we'll be stuck here forever. I won't be able to eat this and that. And Sakamoto is just covered with the glue and everything's a mess here. Now, I was thinking like, you know, if, you know, like if uh, he, she said like water was going to take it out. So Sakamoto was struggling and I was like, maybe if she, Sakamoto sweats, the thing will go away. But then I realized that cats and dogs don't sweat like that. I think they sweat from their um, nose. Most, I think that's where they sweat from. Yeah. And I think dogs also like, you know, like they sweat from their, their tongue as well. Cats as well, I think. I'm not so sure about it. Like usually the way we sweat, they don't sweat like that. So yeah, it won't work. And I guess if you had to get out of this super glue you, you need a lot of water mere sweat won't do anything so they were really at trouble there you know like they cannot do anything and uh, nano comes in and i'm like what <laughs> haka says like don't come here like you know you, you have to get me out like i'm stuck in super glue but if we put water in it nano was not listening nano was like what are you doing your clothes will get you know like this like you know damage like that and gets on top of the super group she's also stuck and everyone starts panicking <laughs> nano's hand comes off which i think uh, maybe not her hand came off like what is she going to do now now i don't know how they got out of that situation like she did have like a little uh, carry bag with her in which i'm guessing there must be some sort of liquid which they can pour to get out but either way they were stuck and they did not show what happened after that 
okay the next part uh, is written on the school it's written congratulations go soccer club on attending the state competition we are number one and, uh, and the guy is like yeah money <laughs> And the, 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 his friend is like, this must be the power of Daiku Industries while carrying a Daiku mixer grinder. <laughs> oh god. The next part we get to see Mio going to school and looking at a rainbow. You know, she's happy. And then again we get to Hakase and Nano's section. Where Hakase uh, puts his hand, her hands over Nano. And she's like, guess who it is? And Nana's like, it's Hakaze, isn't it? And he's like, correct. <laughs> Obviously, Hakaze was the only one in the, in the house. So, and then Hakaze is like, do it to me too. Do it to me too. I'll also, I'm also going to guess. And uh, <laughs> a peaceful day at the household. Okay, the next part. This is the part where, ah oh boy, things are crazy. You know, Yuko is very much troubled at his at her english test um i myself would have been troubled because the questions were crazy first of all <laughs> she is still doing that sakurai sensei she's still doing the whole picture thing which mio before told her to do like you know draw pictures on your own and that stuff she's still doing it and it's like putting weird pictures and <laughs> asking questions <laughs> you because like this is not an english test this is a logic test what is this? Like a weird monster on the uh, kind of paper and she doesn't even know what it's doing. She thinks of multiple th things and she's like what this could be. She thinks of her previous experiences. She's thinking of like before she asked Sakurai sensei about what this is. But that's also not the answer. And she's like oh my god let me think. Like, is, is this like actually fly? Like, is, is they actually trying to mention that this thing is flying? She's like no that must definitely not be the answer. Okay, so maybe it's a monster. She re writes monster. She goes to the next one. And the next one has the same monster with a tennis racket. And she's like, wait a minute. This is not a monster. Like, this is also the same thing. So the answer will not be monster. And she's like, okay, I made a mistake. So what should I do? I need an eraser. She did not bring an eraser. And she's freaking out. And <laughs> Mai is like giving something to her. I knew she was going to troll her. Because that's all she does. And Yuko was, oh, thank God, I have good, such good friends. Teach that it's like a sand eraser. <laughs> and then she's like, Mai, give me something, like a normal eraser. Mai is asleep. She's freaking out and she's like, okay, uh, like, you know, what should I do? What should I do? 10 minutes left, you know, the, and I don't know what she was doing up until now. And she was at the first two questions all throughout the test. Either way, she's like, all right, you know what? Like think about nothingness goes to into like a uh, like a meditation like a zen state and time is up and she's like wait what <laughs> and on, on top of the rooftop he's just there crying <laughs> Mai comes in and puts the umbrella on top and Mai is like the rain and <laughs> you could like it's in my heart oh god and that's where oh no there's like a, the last section the after credit section principal gets in the school uh like you know and there's two girls freaking out about like a love letter and the principal was obviously like, you know, going inside in a very happy mood opens the locker and sees the bread the butter roll and he's like ah oh, like you know, hyperventilating again <laughs> This it was definitely put by the um, the vice principal because she had to put in something in the principal's locker. He did not have the straw to make the voodoo doll, so he, he opted for this, <laughs> which is the same birthday gift he got. The the butter roll he got it for his birthday gift. That's what he's putting in the principal's locker room. <laughs> wow. Anyways, that was it. That was a hilarious episode. Again, yeah. That was fantastic. So that's it. Thanks for watching. This was my reaction to Nichi Joe episode number 11. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. 
and i'll check them out so that's it guys thanks for watching i will see you guys next week with another episode of nichi show until then goodbye and have a nice day